find a way down. This ship isn't gonna stay afloat much longer. There! We can climb down from there. Well, we have to get there first. Okay, we've gotta jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. You'll have to go first. You'll need a running start. I don't know, Clem. Come on, you can do this, AJ. Just run and jump. You got this. I got this. I got this. AJ, what do we do when we're scared? We push through it. We don't let it take over. No, we don't. to be alone. Maybe. To be honest, it's easier by yourself. Nothing lasts, Clementine. Not friends, not love, not the place you call home. They'll all fall eventually. Never forget that, or they'll drag you down too. If I see you again, I'll kill you.
I'm really sorry about your tongue. But at least you're still alive. And that's how you school a walker. little singed, but I'm good. Fuck. You, I was... I was so afraid you... Me too. But we're okay. We're both okay. Lou. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. Clem! God, you guys made it. Fuck. There's more walkers than I can count. That explosion drew them right to us. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. We just have to get off this beach. Look! They brought the cart around. <laughs> Ruby! Willie! Come on! We're getting out of here! There's no end to these little shits! Put him down! Oh, shit! Clap, do something! You! Self killed. Oh, my God. We've got a break for it now. Everyone run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. I'll be right behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. See you on the other side. <laughs> Damn right. AJ, go with him. No, I'm staying with you. <sighs> Thanks, kiddo.
monsters. We need to move. We'll have to squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But... Move it, dummy! We're safe, but not for long. Damn it. It's so dark in here. This sucks. This really fucking sucks. I'll figure something out. Hmm. Perfect. Flint. I need something to burn. Clem, did you... did you see Minnie out there? I didn't see her anywhere. But that doesn't mean she escaped. I'm sorry, I didn't see her. Maybe she made it off in time. Maybe I'll see her again. I hope. Might look nice in our room. Just have to get home first. Okay. Something to burn. Another one. Hm. Gotta get home before AJ can play with it. Hmm. There's another tunnel over there. It's too far. Well, we just gotta... We gotta find something to help us cross. Clem, the walkers are getting closer. Don't worry. We'll be home before you know it. If I yank that out of there... It would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. Okay, we just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. And then I'll take.
Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? AJ, still with me? AJ, please. We have to keep moving. There's... there's nothing after this. What? James isn't in there. He looked right at me, and... and his eyes were empty. There's nothing after we die. Nothing but empty eyes. AJ, I know he was your friend, and I know this is terrible. Please don't say you're sorry. Okay. <gasps> Why did you make me make my friend go away? Everything is just... Just wrong! Like something spilled on the floor and you just can't get it back! James's death is not on you. I made the call, and Lily is the one who stabbed him. And me. It's on me, too. I... Quiet! James shouldn't have been there, AJ. None of this was supposed to happen. What? I, I can't hold all of that in my head! It's okay to be confused. You say don't be soft. But everything that you do just messes up my head. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. <sighs> AJ. When we were talking with Abel, you stabbed him and stopped him from becoming a monster. You made killing look so easy. And you burned him with the cigarette. AJ, please. That's enough. I'm sorry. I'm just scared something will take you away. Aren't you scared of that too? Having to leave the world behind? And me? Listen, kiddo. Everyone is scared of dying. Of what happens after. Especially if it's nothing. people I care about to leave, Clem. <sighs> I have to kill anyone that tries to take them away. I do. I believed you when you called me a murderer about Marlin. I don't think that murder means the same thing as it did when you were little. In a world that's gone now. I think that murder now is just... Protecting the people around you. I feel like I steered you wrong, AJ. If that's what you believe, I failed you. I don't think so, Clem. I think you helped me figure this out. I know you want to be big for everyone, but... You're just a kid. Like me. Sometimes you're scared, just like any other kid. So I'll help. You said all the policemen and firefighters died. So I'm going to be a new one. Even if I don't get it just right, I am. Because all it means is killing bad people who hurt other people. And I'm good at that. Like, I think I could be the best at killing bad people. Better than you, even. Because I wouldn't hesitate. I think you'd be a good firefighter. But can you not be so angry? What do you mean? Our new firefighters can't be as angry as you get sometimes. I need you to trust me, Clem. That I can tell the good people and the bad people apart. That I know when to use my gun. And that you'll let me decide for my own. Okay. Really? Firefighters have to make the hard calls. Which means they deserve our trust. And if they kill to protect others, they're never happy about it. 
Killing people doesn't make me happy, Clem. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. Come on. Coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. A sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. The sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. As bad as Marlin was, he still saved me and AJ. And you nursed me back to health. We owed you for that. Maybe, but even so. If Marlin was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlin, even in his safe zone. We were just... hiding. You made it. You're all alive. I couldn't believe you were really dead. I had to try and find you. You did find me. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be... gone for good. Oh. Uh, shit. I 
I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie for a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Louis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. Well, you screwed up because you did care about me. Yeah, I did. Way more than I meant to. I'm still kind of amazed we found each other, you know? Yeah, me too. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlon said, how it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? I liked my bedroom. My parents painted flowers on the walls, and I had this little white bookcase. What kinds of books? Well, one of my favorites was about a family of kids living in the woods together in this old abandoned train car. Then it turned out they had this rich grandfather who took them to live in his mansion. <laughs> you got a rich grandpa who will take us away from all this? Mm, I don't think so. Damn. You know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. Hmm. It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. We'll have to move some bookcases into your room. Then you can read us stories about train cars and rich grandpas. <laughs> <laughs> After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it, defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. You name it. It was your idea. Texas. We're calling it Texas. You can't just name it Texas. Fine. Texas, too. I want to help rebuild our school. You will, Ten. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. Let's get home to Texas, too. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward.
That's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a, a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom and Dad and Sophie. Ten, snap out of it! She wants to kill you! I... I know, but I... Don't you fucking speak to him! Any of you! He needs to be with his family! Don't do this! Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon. You'll die! 
die if you don't. Talk about this later, when we're safe. There's nothing to talk about. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. Goodbye, Tom. you on the way down. Got bit. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Oh. Keep moving forward.
Hey, I love you. Don't ever forget that. I love you too, Clem. Keep moving forward. Look! James's barn! It's empty now. We'll be safe in there.
Hey, Jin. You did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We could climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please, try. You can't give up. You can't give up. I need you. I need you. I'm so sorry, kiddo. This is just what happens sometimes. But it wasn't supposed to happen to you. <laughs> My little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. AJ, please. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Gotcha. Please. Don't, don't be silly right now. Not right now. I just wanted to see you smile. One last time. Don't say that. Please. Don't say that. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never... Never go alone. So... So I can't leave. Not without you. AJ... It's your rule. You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... <laughs> Grab that axe. Fresh, juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. You can use that axe to open it up. Cover yourself in walker guts. I know how to do it, Clem. I know you do. Next rule. What do we do when the monsters come? Clem. AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay then. Fuck. And the last rule. I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And, and I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... and... stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. No one would hurt us. Just sitting. Forever. Please. Let me stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. 
That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Last rule. No! What do we do if I get bit? <laughs> Are you gonna make me say it? Kill me. Don't let me become one of them. Be a good boy. Kill me. I'm coming. Three years old. His name's Alvin Jr. Kids are. All right, all right. That way. There's a nursery. But I'm not letting one of you savages take a kid!
so sorry. D don't worry. We're leaving soon. No! No! Go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay. We're survivors. And the first rule of survival is... Never go alone. Never go, go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, Jay? I'm so sorry for everything. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home, together. 
And I'll never leave you again. You like me now? <laughs> yeah, you like me. And I like you too. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> there we go. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put the spear away. Stay here and keep watch. I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. V plus M. Violet plus Minnie. She used to be their friend. How can someone just make that go away? That's a pretty good. Better than the ground. This place is cursed. Oh, that's scary and mean. I think this place is good. <sighs> Nothing good. It's getting kind of cold. I'll bring some sticks and stuff next time. Looks like a bad place to sleep. No! 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 Yes! 
Yes! Good girl! I'm sorry, Tim, but you were gonna get Violet killed. I had to do it. Sorry, Tin. I know. Me too. Let's go home. Let's go home.
What you doing there, goofball? Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... it's for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. <laughs> this is fun. I love today. Me too. It's good to see you smile. You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on, let's go eat. We're coming! Idiot. Yeah, that's the spot. 
A sim says he saw 10, 15 of them, a little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? How about you back me up, and we'll find that out together. Word on the street is you're a good running buddy. Best. Uh, aren't you still mad I killed Tin? The thing you said on the bridge. That he was messing up all the time. It wasn't something new, you know. Ten got himself or other people into trouble all the time, long before you guys got here. He was always so lost. He lived in a world that just isn't there, you know? And that's why I tried to look after him. But when I was pulling him away from the walkers and Minnie, I could also see he just wasn't there anymore. So you're mad, but sad. Can I be that for a while? Yeah, it's okay. This is the part where you tell me you'll be really, really careful. <sighs> you okay? Just, just getting tired. Hey, walk with me a sec. Katja. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. You made it so we don't have to run, Clem. We're safe now. Yeah. I guess we are. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you, are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you, back in the cave to make the hard calls, even when I couldn't. You'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome, for everything.
Okay, okay. In you go. It's like Lewis in a box. I don't know how this works. This seems like really hard drawing. I'll ask Clem later. That looks like it tastes bad. I won't lick it. I won't. I wonder who you used to be. Still scary. Why did Clem collect so many skulls? Clem said she'd teach me to ride someday. I gotta get bigger, fast. This is a good one. Like it's protecting us. I miss you, but I'm gonna pretend this is you still watching out for us. I think you like that. I hope so, at least. Too bad he won't be able to draw another one. I hope you have extra crayons wherever you are, Tin. Hmm. You know what? I'm a great artist. You hear me, Rosie? Oh, great. It's so cool looking. I wonder if it has magic powers. Nah. Never gonna die, huh? That's lucky. There, Alvin Jr., you ready to rock? Beat Nick. <laughs> You're so cool, Disco Broccoli. Like, the coolest. I wonder if you're hungry for bugs. They're dead. Bye, flowers. I'll pick some more. Go, Erickson! I still don't know why you say that. Omar didn't want this back. He said, well, it didn't work, did it?
I'm coming. <laughs>